Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets heard them, the bombs bursting. following broadcast is an official production of the Faulkner Sports Network. Okay. All right. He's along, eh? There we go. Yeah, Backwards what goal. A goal. Nice. Kicks it out, gets demoed right there, but Whoa. still makes the shot. Oh. I'm aboard the lane train. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> the lane train. The lane train. Ooh. Is Virginia going hard for the goal? Ooh. Excellent save. Watch this. Here Perfect he goes. maneuver. Just, he just, just kind of flips over and then gets the demo and knocks in the goal. Oh, <laughs> just Lane with the demo. Him. Lane actually makes the shot here. And then Cameron is just like running interference, takes him out, and then just sort of escorts the ball into the goal. Like, all right, so Faulkner off to a hot start here against the Simpson Storm. Wow. Very pretty goal right there. Oh, beautiful. And Cameron going straight Go for Cameron. the goal. Sploosh! We have a Brazil here, folks. That's it. There it is. Faulkner is the champion of this region. Wow. Excellent. Welcome in, everybody. Thanks so much for being with us here for our second game of the evening. This is going to be the Faulkner White team versus Bluffington University in a best of five round of Rocket League. So we got a lot of good stuff for you this evening. I'm head coach Caleb Cockwit, and of course, we've got my broadcast partner, Brandon Dishman. Yep. Who is also the captain of Rocket League, so we'll get some expert commentary from him as well. So, it looks like we're going to be getting underway here very quickly. They've already got the room set up. So, let's go ahead and do our player introductions. Yep. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So, there in the middle, we actually have Corn Pop pulling double duty tonight. So, yep. props to him. Uh, going to be in his second game of the evening. So, Corn Pop there. And then, uh, next to him, we have the lieutenant who's over the white uh, team. Yep. Who is apparently not wearing his jersey. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> Just completely forgot. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, man. I'm trying to lead an example here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah, anyway, Logan, Logan's been a trooper all day. He actually works as part of the arena staff, and he has been here for like seven hours. Oh, yeah. So, like, we'll give him a little leeway on the jersey thing. Yeah. And then next to him, uh, over on the other side there, we have the final member of our crew which for is this evening. Which is interesting. Which is Trey Parker, who has been on the Rocket League team actually as an alternate since the very beginning, but uh, we had some... Some issues this evening, which is why he is going to be playing in his first Rocket League game. Of course, he's the captain of the Overwatch team as well. Oh, uh, yeah. He's going to be playing Rocket League this evening. It is all Rocket League tonight. Oh, yeah. All skilled. Uh, we're going to gonna get to see some of the fun things going on we got there. So It's uh, all looking, coming together. Yeah, look. It's all coming, coming together. together. Sorry. <laughs> Brandon and I do voice impersonations, and we just, like, went into a crunk phase. Just like, oh, yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> all right, so it looks like they're about to get started. They've got the room set up, so we're going to be jumping into the game here momentarily. Looking yep. forward to seeing what these guys do. Oh, and we're right there at the start. So oh, yeah. we got Lake Lagoon. That's Logan. Going to so, go for the tip-off. Yep. Oh, they're coming straight from the ceiling. That's, oh, yeah. that's, a, that's a couple of practice. Man, look at them trying to come off the top rope on Yeah. Us. 
Mm. Oh man! Already from the beginning, ten seconds in. Uh, yeah, that's I, Cole did a good bounce on that, but it's very unpredicted. Um, so people are complaining that the the server is a little laggy. Sometimes you'll get that every time you make a private match. So uh, who knows what we might do here? We might uh, may make a little reset. Yeah, we may have to call a mulligan. I hope that's not the case. Yeah. But it looks like we we may have to reset it. Yeah. The, sometimes you'll get a server that's just really slow sometimes, and, and it's it's their servers. Sometimes you'll just get a bad one. I mean, this game's been around since 2015. I, I, don't, I mean, I would Yes, the I, ancient past. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. They got on one of those old servers that are like, what should we do with this server, boss? I mean, let's just make it a private server. Sure, that's fine. And not check on the condition well uh yeah yeah so, so to give you some indication of this server it's probably a gateway so yeah let's uh so let's get out of the game um out of this game so they can be able to carry us into the next one um so yeah so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that and brandon uh can go and, and help with that we're uh just gonna let him handle that for right now but yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and figure that out, and uh, hopefully these technical difficulties won't be a problem. But both teams complaining a little bit on that that there was some lag issues. So uh, yeah, you know, and you know, props to Bluffington for being sporting about it. Like had already scored a goal, but we're like, yeah, we're not going to make that count. That was yeah, that was on a bad server. So uh, just willing to to completely restart. Oh, uh, uh, good good guy bluffing. Yeah, on that one. hey, the good sportsmanship too. So something like that happening, you think you can take take the advantage of something like that right i i, I enjoy that i i like people who um who knows that there's something wrong and do the right thing absolutely. at the end of the day i can absolutely. go to sleep with that yeah absolutely totally totally understandable so what we're going to do is we're going to just wait and get another survey uh, survey <laughs> server, server. <laughs> yeah. maybe i'm the one running a little slow brandon oh that's okay we'll give you a nice survey to take to see if you're running a little slow you think you could um maybe upgrade with me with some ssd that might that yeah. might help yeah just for, for technological folks at home they're they're <laughs> laughing right now for uh for people who are still dealing with their hard drives have a fun time with your two minute load up but uh yeah <laughs> oh man imagine all the time that we've saved in the world by switching to ssd and you know our computer starting up in 30 seconds as opposed to two minutes yep oh man all the now I can't cook my food as long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Still, both are less time than it takes to make ramen, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, you're right. Everything's three minutes around here. All right. So it's actually funny. Uh, I've seen several of the members of the Overwatch team slip in and take a peek inside the arena. I think Ooh. they forgot that we've got a white game yeah. on right now. I think they're also confused because Trey's in there, their team captain. That might also be part of it. They're probably but, wondering. Uh, I've seen them going into the uh, theater. You know the cinema room yeah. right next to us to watch the game. So hey, that's that'll some... be fun. Get, have a few more people for the live audience. By the way, if you are on campus, uh, if you're watching from Faulkner's campus, you know you can always just come here and watch yeah. on the big screen live there in the cinema room, uh, and that's available to the public. So mm -hmm. if you're just watching this and you happen to be around the gump, yep, you, know, you can come by and watch, and it's available to the public just like our basketball games yep. or our football games, and it's only like $150 a ticket. So. <laughs> Really, <laughs> it's a lot of bang for. We're kidding. It's no, free. it's not. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> it's it's free. Come what? in here, enjoy the seats, and just enjoy the game. Yeah, and it's a good environment. We got the grill right across from there. Yeah, so like something to eat. You could want to eat. You could get one of those big pretzels or yeah. popcorn or you know stadium mozzarella food. sticks. All right, looks like we're back in and Viva Caligula. Oh, it's got a little uh, little roses antenna topper. That's fun. A little bit of a. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it gives me some very Beauty and the Beast vibes. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and one thing that's really kind of funny, too, Faulkner's team color is a little bit off blue, and it looks like Bluffington opted for red, which is odd because their colors are purple and white. Hey, I mean, that's pretty interesting, knowing that uh, knowing they have a different color here, but I've noticed that one of the guys' boost over there is purple. I think it's a little bit of representation. Oh, and B. Wilson scores the first goal. So Interesting. He does a bounce off of the ceiling. Ah. Lake Lagoon tries to stop it. Like he, he does sort of a defensive bounce, but unfortunately yeah. he leaves it in a good position for B. Wilson to come in. Unfortunate. And make it happen. All right. So Viva Caligula comes in and gets a good first contact there. Yeah. 
So interesting. Corn oh, pop misses. Defense, but misses. Luckily, it was off center enough that it didn't matter. Yeah. But yeah, Trey just trying to see what he can pull out of this. A right, little so bit of a miss. I mean, we can call that a strategic fake, but uh, <laughs> attacking it again. <clears throat> so, so far, Faulkner, despite being down a goal, showing some pretty solid defense. Yeah. Telling a telling just a nice way of telling him, hey, we're not out of this game. You don't don't count us out as soon as it starts. Oh yeah, I mean we've got, you know, three minutes, uh, more than three minutes left on the clock. So. Oh trust me, there's plenty you can do in like three minute thirty seconds in Rocket League. Oh for sure. Oh corn pop setting it up. Oh a little bit of a right. love tap there. Yeah, corn pop getting it downfield which is nice of course it has to be on the other side of the field to be able to score so yeah the more time you can spend in enemy territory the better oh i see um trey's got the uh the rose and the fedora <laughs> oh, i thought it was a top hat i i think it might be a top hat or it might be a fedora one or the other it reminds me of um the uh he really likes the uh the sort of oh Ooh, nice save by Lake Lagoon. Man. Logan really doing yeoman's work out there, and that was uh, <clears throat> quite a save there. He barely kept it out where it would bounce on, on post and knock it out of the goal. Yeah. So, Rocket, Rocket Farm? For... Yeah, I let's just call it. Rocket let's, Farm? Let's call him that. If he likes to take all the boosts, I mean, we'll, we'll call him Rocket Farm. He's He's farming rockets. Yep. Oh, well, that sounds like a danger when you say it like that. But, uh, I mean, we also have somebody with the name B. Wilson and, um, I think Mini Bobcat, I think. But his, his, his name might just be like Ben Wilson or something. Ben Wilson. He just, he just, right, so Corn Pop going here, gets it going in the right direction. Those guys are oh. kind of all in the same spot. So a good offensive possibility here. Yeah, just need to find some kind of offensive push to get this goal, and then uh, it'll be really tied up. And there's still only two minutes All left. Right, Logan so. going for the corner, going to play it off here, going to set it up. Can he ah. get it? Nope. Yeah, Trey almost got that. He that really did. Like, that That would have been a nice first goal for the new player. Oh! All right. <clears throat> Man, if Logan had just gotten a little bit better angle on that, that could have easily been a goal. Yeah. Because the other team was not in a good formation. Someone's going to have to save that. Oh, I thought they were going to double. That's what it looked like. They did try to. Yeah. Corn Pop going to go up for it. Ooh. Oh, but unfortunately goes up a little too soon. Doesn't miss it by much, but it's enough to where they're able to get a goal off. It happens. You see, like, Viva's kind of going underneath. Corn Pop just goes a little too early. Yeah. Be better if he had, he had been a little bit more patient, but it's hard especially when you don't want to let them, you know, change the trajectory the other way and make it go in faster. You want to be there in case that happens. And so Corn Pop kind of over-anticipated. Yeah, try not to let them know your next move is uh, the big thing in this game. Sometimes it just can't be helped to uh, try to at least try to predict their moves. Something like that right there. See, it's hard to predict. You don't know if he uh, actually got the real, like, flip reset off and you want to staff someone lower. And because right, it's one of those things like you'll never really know what would have happened if I had done this. Yeah. Oh, they demoed, um, demoed corn pop yeah, to demoed, be able to get. Yeah, demoed corn pop so that there was nobody guarding back post there. Unfortunate. Well, actually, it was center, center goal at that. Point. Man. But yeah, it would have been in the perfect position to defend it. It's just they got him on the demo. All right, Lake Lagoon with a good first contact. Going to move it into position. And when it, if it weren't for Rocket Farm, that would have been in a very good position for Corn Pop to take advantage of, but unfortunately it wasn't. Yeah. All right, try to double there. Aren't able to do it. Viva Caligula oh. kicks it out. Oh, and tries to get a shot on goal, but unfortunately the ball gets stolen yeah. from him there at the last second before he would have had to take a shot. Yep. Corn Pop with a backwards defense, oh. which is nice. Looks really good. Kind of more than off a pass to uh, Logan, but uh, wasn't able to get any type of uh, anything out of it. But uh, he's yeah. pushing on his own right now. Mm -hmm. And Bluffington just performs what is it actually a really good setup. It's just they didn't have somebody in position to capitalize on it. So lucky break there for the Eagles. Yeah. 
Mm, not enough time. Nope. But still save it. All right. Well, Bluffington wins that first round, so Faulkner is going to go into their second match uh, a little bit, you know, at a disadvantage, going to have a score disadvantage by one, but this is still anybody's game. And the score looked very one-sided, but honestly, the gameplay was not super one-sided. Faulkner was still getting a lot of good shots on goal, and uh, the Bluffington squad, to their credit, did really good on defense, but not such a good job that they're like, you know, it's an insurmountable feat yeah. at this point. So I think Faulkner, if they really focus and sort of dial in, can come back and, and easily win the next round and put themselves back at tied. Yeah. In this kind of situation, you want to be able to like try to see what what most things that they tried to do this match. Try to try to uh, remember these things going into your next match starting out. Hopefully, you can be able to get a starting lead here, right? And play just as good defensively as they were trying to do. Because I think in offense, that's where their most of their holes started. And if we can be able to get something to score and be able to play defensive here, I think we can be able to take a win out of this. Yeah, I think so. I think that they're just going to have to get their feet up under them. Yeah. Um. So we're going to have to go ahead and uh, join this one. Looks like they've got the room set up, so we'll go ahead and jump into the game here now. Yep. Got everything ready. Oh, wow. And a kickoff goal right there. So, B. Wilson just able to get a really quick goal there. Yeah. And bounces it off the corner. Wilson going to be playing defense. And Rocket Farm going to knock it towards the goal, but not anywhere near. Oh, man, and Lake Lagoon just sets up a really nice what would have been goal, but unfortunately he gets stopped right there in midair. And Bobcat going to be doing the driving to the goal there and winds up with it. Yeah, just sort of a backspin off of the back of his car. Able to flip the back of his car into the ball for... An easy goal. Man, unfortunate. Yeah, just didn't have anybody watching goal at that point. We were all in attack formation because we really thought we had a goal. And uh, it's understandable, but weren't able to execute. And because of that, oh, nice. Look at Corn Pop. I think he's learning from him. You can tell he's learning. He's learning. They're learning. Already pre-jumped that and knows that that's, that's, what, that's what they like to do as soon as it gets to their goal to clear it out. So he took advantage of it. Right. Man. So kind of learned the strategy and is able to just flip in there. Yeah, they're going to have to try to do something. Uh, Bluffington's going to have to try to do something different here. Or Cole's going to be able to capitalize on that, which I hope he does. Yeah, let's hope so. Oh, doing a different strat, going straight to the roof, but misses it. Strategically? I don't know. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Uh. So what happened there is the ball backed, like, just does this bounce off of it that no one was expecting. And when it bounced off post, it just ha so happened that Wilson yep. was closer to it than Corn Pop. There were really, I mean, unless Corn Pop had had boost, there was really nothing he could have done right there. Yeah, that happens and all the time. even if he had boost, I'm not sure that he could have made it beforehand. He was just not in the right position. It's kind of kind of like the goal looked at him and said, here you go, it's all yours now. Yep. But, uh, yeah, that happens. This is Rocket League. This is madness. Yep, that's that's how it is. Oh, oh, it's a good setup though. Yeah. So uh, Logan also not only a good setup, but also you notice he did a little defensive work there at the end too. Kept, um, I think that was uh, who was that? Was that Wilson that he kept from uh, moving on the ball? Yeah, I thought so. Wilson here, uh, man, just really showing out for the Bluffington team. Yeah, so kicks it forward just with the front of his car. Perfect gets angle, a, gets it right in the corner. That top left corner is uh, pretty tough. Yep, very difficult to be able to defend against that, especially as close as he was to the goal. 
So not only that, but you don't, not only is that hard to read, but even if you do get a read on it, it's hard to react to it because of how short the pathway was. Cole by himself. Going to have to wait for some teammates to get down the field. And, Woo! oh. Man, Rocket Farm. <clears throat> More off the cleanup work, because at this point, it's already in front of everybody. Yeah, so you see Viva gets a little bit bullied there, gets knocked back. And yeah. That he's not in a position to be able to block. Mm. Unfortunate. Oh, oh. So a double Look nice. At, that's, not, that's a good pinch right there. That's something you want. You you know what they perfect synchrony. You know how they did uh, that? Power of friendship. Power of friendship. <laughs> yep. Power of friendship can get do a lot of things, folks. Can. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah, they didn't try that again, which was probably smart. Yeah. Well, they only had one person go up for the for it this time. They're lucky this time. Oh, oh man. Bobcat just so miraculous how these goals can be scored sometimes. So Viva tries to defend. Oh man. But Bobcat just comes like was he wasn't off the ceiling. That was like a regular aerial, I think. Yeah, he, he kind of like, I see what you're doing. Thank you. I'll take this and uh, put it in your goal. And, and own goals. Mm, man. Which I'm fine with. Yeah. I guess turnabout's fair play here. Uh, oh, oh no, it wasn't actually no Logan. Actually, it was Logan. It looked like the Bluffington player actually own gold from our angle but no logan just beat him to it man never hit it i guess you can say we called their bluff uh, 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 uh. <laughs> i'm a fan of a good pun i'm not gonna lie oh that's great i'm, I'm gonna do the, like the goofy half laugh thing because it's funny but no i really do like a good pun oh oh Okay, that's good. That's good that he approached that, so we can be able to. Uh, there we go. Get good down there. defense by Corn yep. Pop. Get a nice and high there. Take it away. Oh, a little bit of miss. Uh, we can be able to recover from that. Get somebody back there to yeah, play you know, defense. This has been a very high-scoring game. Total. We still. I know that uh, Bluffington's <laughs> ahead by three, but we have nine goals in this game, and there's only there's still two minutes left. Like this has been a very high-scoring game. Yeah. There's still a lot to work with. With only two minutes, there's so much you can do. It looks like they're trying to set up for a pass here. No! Manage to get it past them. <clears throat> Unfortunate. So two defenders just missed the ball there. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's really unfortunate, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Yep. You just had two defenders that went for it, and neither one of them were able to make the connection. Man. And actually, they had opposite problems. Logan was a little too high, Viva was a little too low. Ball just yeah. kind of threaded the needle between them. Yeah, she needs something that was just right. Mm. Wow, and another. <clears throat> Good gracious. They really like their aerials. They do. Get somebody that likes to play in the air, and uh, you get some results like these. I think we'll uh, have to find a more defensive way to play off a wall or something if we can't find our comfort in the air. And the, oh, they man. tried the again, <clears throat> but it doesn't work this time. Man, that was fun, though. If it works once, why not try it again? I feel like we got to throw the pincer on next year's highlight reel. Like oh, that's yeah. And I might oh. actually say in it the power of friendship. Oh, no. Own goals. <laughs> Logan. I can save this, guys. Oh, man. Nope. No, you can't. Well, guys, I got it. Oh, well. I think he intended that for it, uh, to go a bit farther. Sometimes bobcats don't always land on their feet. Yep. Funny enough, you got a bobcat working for, uh, what is it, are they the beavers? The beavers, yeah. Nah. The Bluffington beavers. Hired a bobcat. They see water and they're like, no. Oh, that's why, uh, that's why Lake Lagoon's here. You? <laughs> nah. Nice. Oh. Just kind of <clears throat> rolls it in. They think more off got the bump there from from Wilson and uh then after that it was like all right well, let me straight take it straight toward the goal. Although to his credit, if that had had a slightly longer path to the goal, Lake Lagoon was in a really good position to keep them from knocking it out. So yeah. Even though it wound up really not needing it, it was good that he had the game sense to be able to be there just in case. Ooh, look out! There we go. 
Caligula with the save. Playing great defensively tonight. I've been seeing that ever since he's uh, started out. Oh, Cole seeing the opportunity here. Gets it off the wall. Oh, man. Well, I'll, st I'll, I'll give it to our uh, our Faulkner team. Corn pop they are the steel. They are putting themselves back in the game. And Lake Lagoon scores here. Wow. Off with a nice assist that Cole set up. Guys, we are at 14 points in a Rocket League game. Man. Faulkner is within two. They could easily take this to overtime or take the lead. Man. At the rate this game is going. Yeah, I'm thinking they're starting to learn them now. Maybe a little too good, but uh, that's what we want. So we're going to see if Logan can answer here, and he does with yeah. defensively. So now we just have to find a way to solidify in under 25 seconds. It's possible. Oh, wow. Um, oh, oh man. Corn Pop just misses that block. I know what they tried to do here, and it's very tricky because it, it will fool you. You have somebody, you're so used to having somebody defend in front of you. And you have that player right there. You think he's about to touch it. You don't know what to do next. And uh, next thing you know, it passes right beside him. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, no, this is right here in front of me. Sorry, it's too late. Mm. Oh, and the demo there by Corn Pop. Unfortunate. But probably going to be too late. Yep. Yep. Bobcat's going to knock it in. And what looked like Faulkner clawing their way back into the game with only eight seconds left, there's not much chance they're going to be able to score four goals in that amount of time. Yep, you need one for every two seconds. Yeah, which is technically possible, but not Power really friendship. Oh, did I mean, they, say, point, they sent it the wrong way, though. Yeah, but at that point, why not go for it? Like, you're already up against the wall. You know you've got to score goals quickly. Get a, get a nice highlight. Yeah. Still, though, I, I'll give it to Faulkner for staying inside the game. Um, yeah, not letting themselves get beat down. Just keep trying no matter what happens. That's a quality you got to admire. Yeah. Yeah, Faulkner, Faulkner losing this one, though, 6-10. So that means that Bluffington is going to take round two. Yeah. So we definitely can win this game, but it is going to be uh, a gonna tall be order. They're going to have to win three, three in a row. Yep. So. Hopefully they figured them out by now. Hey, they look like they figured them out but a little bit too late in the uh, the second game. Yep. So that's the that's the thing that can be a problem is that you start learning the game plan, but it's a, it's a little too little, a little too late. Yeah. And so I think that that's what we saw happening right there is that they they came close mm -hmm. uh, and they did start clawing their way back there at the end, but they just weren't able to weren't able to seal the deal. That's unfortunate. And, I think what that does demonstrate, too, is that Faulkner definitely can stay on the field with these guys, but an early lead would be a big advantage. Here. Oh, yeah. Something so, like that would like make sure we can solidify in our defense and uh, bring us home. I think that they really need to do something here to, to get an early first goal yeah. and then just not let up on the defense. Uh, because I think what we, we could see here by both teams is they start focusing on defense because of how high scoring that last game is. And so what we see is more of a defensive battle. Oh, and Corn Pop He's starting stopping out. that early goal attempt. Woo! Man. Ooh. Starting out strong on from the Bluffington side. Rocket Farm goes. And see Lake Lagoon stuck in the corner. Yeah. You see Viva too far he, back on back post. Or front post, sorry. He was on front post, which is the reason he wasn't able to get to it. Yeah, Logan uh, tried to challenge one of those players back there, and unfortunately it went to the other players uh, the way they wanted. They're playing a little stylish here, showing us that, hey, got a little bit of style. but uh, There we go. I, and a that, good save by Corn Pop. In that kind of situation, you don't want to style out a little too much. That's how we'll get you. Yeah, I mean, everybody likes to have something showy, but the truth is, just like a lot of other sports, fundamentals win games. They absolutely do. It's like Cole here, taking it back, taking advantage. Look at there, setting up something. Yeah, what? There oh, we go. Ooh. So, so one, close, a one trick. One thing that you will notice really good Rocket League teams do is their defense becomes their offense. Like, even when they are trying to block. Oh. 
Oh, oh no. Man. Viva doing the best that he could, but was out of boost and wasn't able to score. Had had a lot of time, but he couldn't catch up with the ball because he was boostless. Yep. In that kind of situation, uh, what do we say? Flip, 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 flip. That would be the operative word, yes. Yep. Flips will help you go faster. That might be a little bit inaccurate, but uh, been the only thing to help there. And Bobcat, even though that goal was not defended, that would have been a very pretty shot placement to get right dead center on the left side. That's also a pretty hard position to defend. Yeah. All right, Corn Pop able to take it off center. Even oh. Caligula coming in with the save. And now in his honor, the Roman National Anthem. Yep. <laughs> And now we're just trying to get out of this loop. This kind of loop here is uh, one that gets you nice and stuck to get scored on. And, oh, a little bit of advantage that can be taken here. Oh, and it's Takes it to the wall. The charge. Has to rotate back. Yep. Corn Pop now out of boost. Going to have to probably cycle back himself here in a second. It's going to be over, and Ooh. yeah, Bobcat. Does Bobcat actually set himself up in this one? I think I missed uh, it. I do not know. Yeah, so, oh. he, so B. Wilson sets up and then tries to capitalize on his own setup, but Bobcat actually comes in over the top and makes that one happen. It's like, hey, friend, can I have this? Even <laughs> though he didn't ask for it. Oh, wow. There you go. That's a good way to start well, off a like kickoff goal. in there. <laughs> Uh, um, I'll let you work it for me. There you go. Don't let them work against you. Let the other players work for you. All right. I believe that's uh, Viva's first goal. Yeah. So. Which I'm proud of. I'm, I'm glad he's coming out of being an alt straight into this game. Uh, even just getting a goal in, in a game like this. I think that, mean, that, that, that means a lot. Right. Woo. Get him to where they're struggling a little bit. Let's get this ball away from our goal. Get it out of here. Oh, that crossbar. That's silly little crossbar. Yeah, that'll it'll do it. Yep. Yeah, it'll get you thinking there, thinking I can save it. I can do something with it, but it's already too late. It's a little too late. It's a little too late. <laughs> oh. Try trying to do it again. They're not gonna let that happen. No, they were prepared for it that time. Yep. Had a little bit of fear that Trey could do it. Now, Bobcat tries a little air dribble there, sort of bumps it with the nose of his car. Yep. Ooh. Can you answer by Logan? Logan takes it. Oh, gets it a little set up here. And Trey already set up to bring it back. Wait. Is this no nope. oh, gonna be blocked by Wilson? Dang. They're gonna try to answer by going to the roof. Yep. So you'll notice right there, Wilson made a very patient goal. Yeah. You know, sometimes you have to wait to see what the other person is going to do to be able to answer accordingly. And it seems to me that that's what he was doing there. Oh, oh, and a little bit of a redirect. Way. Oh, wow. So much was going on there. Yeah. And so that's the thing. You, you don't mind in situations like that where there's a lot of back and forth of possession and you're near goal, that always favors the team that's not near their goal. Yep. Because, yeah, a six-man fight could go either way in pretty much any situation, but the thing is, if it's right in front of your goal, you don't want that to be where the six-man fight happens. Yeah. Because there's very little chance that they're go you're going to score on them. There's a lot of chance that they could score on you. All right. And the longer the ball stays there, the more likely it is to roll in. Logan here sets it up. Bobcat takes it. He's probably going to try to take it to the roof here where he's most comfortable with. Set it up for his teammates. And uh, Logan again takes it. Horn pop. Uh, let's call it a strategic fake. Gets it back to the middle. Trey sees it. 
Rocket Farm going to come off the roof again. Man. Try to make something happen here, but it kind of goes limp. Still gets a shot on goal, though. Bobcat takes it mm. and scores goal number six. Unfortunately. So Faulkner uh, was really s sort of fighting on even field in the last match, but this match it has been really all Bluffington, except for that one goal by Viva. Yep. Rocket Farm. <laughs> Place Rocket Man with Rocket Farm. Burning up his crops up here alone. <laughs> no, no, wait, I got a better one. He's an international harvester. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cole's got the 1v1. The one... Oh, all right, Trey. Oh, all right, man. takes out the first forces, guy. Forces a miss by Bobcat. Oh. But Corn Pop and Viva, I think that may be sort of a side effect of Viva not having a lot of practice with the team yet. They wind up being sort of in the same place, and that's not good. Mm. Corn Pop going to try to make a final play here, and they keep it in the air. Corn Pop keeps it up. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> Look at there. Oh, Trey. Oh, man. Tries man. for it, but not quite able to make it happen. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered either way. The game yeah. was already lost at that point, but. You would have liked to at least got one more goal there. Yep. So that, unfortunately, is going to be ball game for us tonight. That means that Bluffington winds up taking this one 3 nothing. But, you know, very different from the first game that we had this evening with yes. Rocket League Blue. Uh, they wound up fighting them on very even fields. And uh, really that, up until the last, like, 30 seconds of that middle game, yeah. Faulkner was really in it and coming back from, <clears throat> a big, uh, from, from a really big league, able to claw their way back into the game. So... Uh, a, a tough played game, a game where they did not give up, but sadly wound up at the end there, just not able to overcome yep. the, the Bluffington Beavers there. So that's going to be with a score of three nothing, and we will be back in a moment with the post game show. Preparing leaders for the River Region and beyond, Faulkner University's Harris College of Business is distinctively different, focusing on ethics and character development in the classroom and building ethical foundations with our new Ethics Institute. Living the mission of Faulkner University to glorify God through education of the whole person, emphasizing integrity of character in a caring Christian environment where every individual matters every day. As a student at the Harris College of Business, I saw firsthand the mission of Faulkner University. My professors there not only taught me, but they also mentored me they encouraged me, they cared for me, they instilled character and integrity into me. I mattered every day. That mission hasn't changed. Harris College of Business continues to provide its students with the tools they need to succeed in today's business world. And we're back. So you, if you were just now joining us, we actually just finished our game with Bluffington. Unfortunately, that game ended with a 3 nothing score with Bluffington being on top. And we are here with the team lieutenant, uh, Logan Clark. And uh, Logan, you know, rough game tonight. Yeah. Not necessarily what you wanted to see. But uh, I have to say, just before we even start the interview, really proud of the way you guys battled back in that yeah. game because you guys were in a big deficit and you came yeah. back to being within two goals at one point. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, not able to take the victory, but still, you know, a heck of an effort by your team there. Yeah, I mean, that game was just a there was a lot of um, just rotation problems and, and a lot of kickoff goals. I mean, that was one of the highest scoring games I've ever played in. But like at a point, it was was very close. But um. Yeah, I'm proud of my team for being able to come back and ultimately we weren't able to pull it off. But um, hopefully we can get back out there and take this game to help improve ourselves and um, learn from the best. I mean, the first game, we hold them to the lowest goals, but we just weren't able to get anything going. But the second game, we got things going, but just we weren't able to stop anything. But just kind of mix some of the stuff that we, we did and just learn from that and improve for the next game. I mean, it was only our second game, so we still got four games ahead of us. Yeah, definitely. It's very early in the season, and it's hard to tell which teams are really the ones to watch out for because yeah. of that. You know, you, you never know exactly where they're going to be at the beginning of the season like this. But Bluffington, 
you know, really seemed to be doing very well in the air. Yeah. Uh, but you guys had some actually really excellent defensive plays. So uh, is that something that you were working on earlier this week? Talk to, talk to that a little bit. Yeah, we were working on proper rotation skills and be able to uh, stop a defense. Basically turning, if they double commit and stuff, we're trying to turn their mistakes into goals. They kind of capitalize on, on their mistakes to be able to create um, open goals. So say we're on our side, we were to clear the ball and kind of get them the ball past them. We're able to create um, shots off of that. And um, that was something we've been, been practicing on recently. I mean, mm-hmm. I know we're not all the best at aerials. I mean, I'm not like, the best myself. I mean, we're all trying to work on um, aerial stuff. But as long as you know how to play the, the fundamentals mm-hmm. and rotation and stuff, you, you should be able to win games, especially against uh, um, teams like that. So one thing I wanted to ask, too, I know that it was a very late addition and it kind of left us scrambling a little bit, but we brought on for the first time in an actual game Viva Caligula. Now, he's practiced a little bit with the team, but this was the first time he actually came on as a full-fledged member of the team. So if you could speak to that a little bit and what that that change-up and that last-minute addition did for the rotation. Yeah, we unfortunately lost one of our um, teammates. Uh, Trey uh, Viva uh, came in last minute, decided um, and played for us. Originally was an alternate, but re- really hasn't been to play much because he's a captain for another team, Overwatch, I believe. Yeah, it's Overwatch. Yeah, it keeps him pretty busy. Yeah, it does. Um, but I'm I'm proud of for what he did. Uh, we would step up and play with us, and uh, hopefully he can take what we what we learned and played uh, be able to improve ourselves not only um, for other matches but improve us uh, our chemistry and stuff like that together. But I don't think we did bad by any means, but oh, obviously no, had a great showing. Up. Yeah, I mean, I think it was probably pretty entertaining with all the. We didn't have any shorter <laughs> goals in that session, that second game, but um, I'm I'm proud for how our our team play. But like I said, we'll just take what we uh, happened in this game and learn to improve from the next. Yeah, and obviously the team is able to score goals. I mean, that's what mm-hmm. you're talking about. We had such a high score in several of these matches, and it wasn't like all one sided either. Yeah. Faulkner scored a lot of them. So uh, fun stuff and something that we're looking forward to in the future. Mm -hmm. All right, so that, of course, is Logan Clark. He is the captain of the Faulkner White team. We're going to go ahead and call it an evening here tonight after the uh, Faulkner loss to Bluffington. So we have several events that are coming up later this week. First of all, we've got Overwatch, which is going to be against Florida State University tomorrow night. So they'll be taking on the Seminoles in a best of three, or sorry, best of five. Overwatch Mm -hmm. 2 is best of five. Uh, a best of five match against them and also have to point out as well that we have a match thursday which will be at six for super smash bros and then we have another game at six for csgo i believe for that one we're actually playing purdue so this will be a team that we've never played for csgo as well so just be sure to check all of our social medias follow us on twitch twitter facebook uh instagram any of the places where you would normally have uh, social media accounts Faulkner Esports has them you can follow us there and check out all of the latest news so that you know when games are happening and the conclusions and the stats of the games all of that is of course going to be up at all of those social media platforms as soon as we conclude our broadcast here so once again for the final time we'd like to say a big thank you to everybody that was helping out with the production tonight I actually neglected to mention this <laughs> Uh, in the first broadcast because we were, you know, we had another game coming up. We were trying to get done. Uh, But a special thanks to Logan Clark, who was actually working production for the earlier one. And, of course, Kayla Carmoa, who was doing commentary for the the game before this one and running production for the game tonight, pressing all the right buttons, making sure that uh, we look at least tolerable and uh, (laughs) and sound good and everything. So uh, appreciate her hard work on this today as well. And, uh, of course... As always, I'm the head coach, Caleb Colquitt, and appreciate all of you being here with us tonight. Thanks to Brandon Dishman, who was doing commentary for this game this Mm -hmm. evening. And we're going to call it right there for the final time. The score tonight, Bluffington 3, Faulkner 0, and we will be back again for another game. Right now, I believe the next game is actually scheduled for 7 p.m. If there are any reschedules, we will be sure to let you know about that. So unless something changes, 7 p.m., again, same bat time, same bat channel next week as well. That's going to be it for us this this evening. We'll be back tomorrow for that Overwatch game at 6. Until then, stay the course, friends. The preceding broadcast was an official presentation of Faulkner University. It may not be redistributed without the express written consent of the Faulkner University Athletic Department. 
Regitar USA High Res Arena is sponsored by Regitar USA. The national anthem was performed by the Faulkner University Chorus. If you would like to learn more about the Faulkner Esports program, visit our official website at FaulknerEagles.com or follow us on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram for all the latest news and events. Thank you for watching and soar Eagles.